Hey guys, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. I have a more in-depth product review for you today. So this one I unboxed in my Paris haul video. This is the soft trunk from Louis Vuitton. This is the soft trunk wallet technically because it's a slimmer version. This is in the blurry monogram. In this piece, it's the shape of the bag is also distorted, which I thought made it really unique and that's why I wanted to collect this piece. So it's in the brown coated canvas monogram. Obviously the print is different because it's blurry. And these pieces are the Viquetta leather that's already treated or dyed so that I don't think they're gonna age or patina. It's already that warm honey color. Both sides are the same. The bottom just has a canvas paneling. This comes with the aged gold hardware, which I think does suit the color scheme better than if they use the silvery metal, which is what they typically use for men. Also, of course, comes with a shoulder strap that is adjustable and it has the antique and aged gold finish as well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what fits and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on as well. This retails for 2,700 and the model number is M81580. The good thing is that they've made sure to extend the zipper past just the edges because it really helps when you are trying to open the bag. And this is a little different than the soft trunk wallet that I have from the, the cloud monogram in that this doesn't have a leather panel with card slots. I actually prefer this because I never put cards in those card slots in my bag because I would just put my wallet or card holder in here. So here you can see the tag. This one is made in France and it's from the runway fall winter 2022. The inside is a synthetic lining, but it's not the microfiber. I prefer this one because I feel like this is more robust. So it comes with one flat pocket, one large compartment in the middle. It does have a zippered compartment, which is, I think is nice for securing certain things, especially if you do put any coins or change, you'll probably want to put it in here because as you can see, there are areas where things could fall out just because of the way this opens. They created these sides here and then behind this is an extra slot as well. In terms of what fits, I usually just have my regular standbys that I use. So I still have my card holder. This is like over 10 years old now, but still in pretty good condition. So I'll have that. I might have my AirPods. I've been using them quite a bit. I would have my keys as well. I usually also like to travel with like a lip balm and then maybe some hand lotion. So that I think fits fine. There's definitely still space to put other things, but at this point it's just, you don't wanna pack it too much because it gets harder and harder to access your items. So depending on what I have inside flatter things, I may consider putting in like a pocket here, like my wallet, just so I know it's always there. And the more, the, the things that are maybe not as flat, I can have in the middle. And this, of course, will fit pretty much any phone. So I've been using this external battery as an example of a phone. This is pretty much the same size as an iPhone Pro. The Pro Max, which is what I'm using the film, is a little bit bigger, but obviously you can see it fits without any issue. And depending, I think the Pro can also just fit in, the more stuff you put in there might start bulging. This will start to be a little bit bulge right now. And it, but it's still, it will still zip close, as you can see, because since this is a soft trunk, it is flexible to a certain degree. So obviously a, a passport standard size will fit in no issue as well. It can fit into the pocket as well. I think if I was using this for international travel, I would put my passport in one of these slots. Pretty much my daily essentials I would have. And then of course, like I was saying, you do have this extra pocket for maybe smaller things that might get lost or might fall out of the bag. So I think that's definitely a handy option that they included. 
And I believe they're using an updated design so that the strap is completely removable using the clips. I think the original soft trunk design, one side was either permanently attached or it didn't use the clips, making it harder to detach. And I noticed another thing that they change in this design is that this clip here is on the opposite side. So this is in, the, you could say, the back, and here it's in the front which when I show you what it looks like worn, it fits the body better in terms of using it on either side, but it can be an issue when you're trying to get things in and out of your bag as you're unzipping it while you're wearing it. So now I have the strap attached and the strap is adjustable. Right now it's in the, I think the right in the middle and all of the leather has the classic red glazing. So now I'll show you what it looks like on. And that's my video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos and check me out on Instagram for the latest update and exclusive content. I'll be posting more photos as I wear this and I'll do that on Instagram. So thanks again and I hope to see you in my next video.